first of all then, you made a few changes at Fleetwood in midweek. Can you talk us through those? Yeah, a couple of enforced changes. We picked up a, a knock with Tom Davis and with Joe Yarny at the weekend, so it left us with only real one centre-back available to us. But um, we knew that Brad Walker had played there previously, so he, he stepped in. But as well as that, it gave the two new long lads an opportunity as well. And I thought Rob in particular, it was an outstanding debut for him and showed that he's going to be a, a, big, um, a big help to us moving forward. He's going to be an effective player and an exciting player to watch. There's been a few knocks, obviously, to individuals. What's the update on the, the current injury situation? So like I've just mentioned there, Tom Davis and Joe Yarny picked up a knock at the weekend and they're going to get assessed tomorrow. Luke Norris will be assessed tomorrow also. Um, unfortunately, O'Connor, Saunders and Leek are still out. So it's fair to say injuries have clearly restricted your options so far this season? Yeah, we haven't had real direct replacements for the injuries that we've had in, in key areas, in, in particular the full-back areas. So we've, we've had to adapt and ask players to play slightly out of the position. So they've had to adapt to that and learn it very quickly. And credit to the players who've played in there, they've attacked it and done as, as much as they can in that area. And when you haven't got the direct replacements that we've got, we, we've got to adapt. And like I say, it's no excuse, but um, moving forward, then that's what it is. And we, um, we need to keep working on that. Now, we all know that the, the transfer window's closed, but the free window's still open. And we're still looking for a couple of options to, to come into them areas. Injuries aside then, can you understand the frustration of the fans at the moment at the current run of results? Absolutely. Uh, the fans are, are good football people here, I've always said that, and, and they are results driven. They'll, they'll do anything to win games of football, they love winning games. And um, If we're all, all honest with ourselves, the position we're in at the moment is not where we wanted to be. However, we are very confident and we have a big belief in that moving forward on Saturday that we've got to turn things around and it, it's got to get started Saturday, but it has to happen Saturday. Do you think a lack of confidence is perhaps affecting performances at the moment? Absolutely not. Like I've just touched on, the, the, the belief in the group is always there. They've always felt the belief there. Um, they're very confident in themselves. You know, they've got good people around them, good players around them. And going into every game, they believe that they're going to win it. But that's the talk of it all now. We've got to make sure it happens Saturday and, and three points is a must. What have you and the coaching staff said to the players then ahead of Colchester this weekend? We prepped it like we prep all the games we touch on the opposition, but the focus Saturday is it's got to be what we do and how we approach the game and how we win the game. Um, another thing we've mentioned as well is that in the last couple of years, the fans have travelled, the, the away fans and the home fans have been great, but away fans have been unbelievable on the road and they, they travel far and wide and they've not been repaid enough by having great weekends after winning a game of football on their own journeys. And we've got to make sure that they go home on a happy bus on, on Saturday. So we've got to give them the three points and make sure that long journey is worthwhile for them. What sort of reaction then are you expecting from the players this weekend? We need to win. We need to win first and foremost. They know that, we know that. Um, things turn very quickly in this league. You can have a week where you pick up nine points and things change quick. And I've seen teams in the past start the season similar to how we have and got promoted. And we are no means saying that because we're in the position they're in, we're looking at the other side of the table thinking, oh, we've got to push up the table. We're still of the mindset that we need to get up there and get into the promotion places. As a manager, do you look at yourself in this situation? Always. Every time I analyse a game, I don't just analyse the player's performance and the player's tactical part in the game. I also look at how I've set the team up and the decisions I've made in game. And I always review and reflect on it and think what could they have done differently and what would they do differently the next time. What specific challenges then do Colchester pose this weekend? The manager Ben likes to play open football, expansive football. We're aware of what they're going to do, players are aware of what they're going to do, but the players and the staff also know that it's more about what we do and our approach to the game and how we win the game on Saturday. And that's uh, at the forefront of our minds. It's an important game on Saturday and the first two long away trips. What's your message then to the supporters? Our supporters have been great since I've been, obviously since I've been here, I've, I've witnessed it and 
Um, people have always spoke about how great the support is at the club and uh, like I said, I've been fortunate enough to witness that. And the away fans in particular, no matter how the results have been over the last couple of years, they've travelled in the numbers and supported the team. All I'd ask them to do is just continue to do that, keep getting behind the players and supporting the players because the players know that they're there with them and, and they feed off that and it's so important that they keep doing that. And, and the players just, we talk about belief. We've got a belief in the in the group of players and the staff that we go and win on Saturday. Just want the supporters to keep that belief from the first whistle to the last whistle that we're going to come home with the three points and, and, and they'll do everything and we'll do everything to make sure we come home with the three points and their buses are rocking bus on the way home.